Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal over at the Brick Wall Shop on the Poshmark app. And today this video is being sponsored by Poshmark. And I'm going to give you five tips for selling on Poshmark. Number one is your pictures. Um, it's important to take lots of pictures of your items. Um, you know, I, I take pictures from the front, the side, the back. Um, if there's any flaws, sometimes I take pictures of the tags. Um, if there's some kind of detailing, I'll take a close up. Um, but pictures are important. Um, I have a lighting kit, not necessary. If you're able to take pictures during the day, open all your windows, get some natural light in. Um, I do have a background, again, not necessary, uh, just a plain wall works just fine. Um, I have a mannequin. Again, not necessary. Um, I do think that it shows um, how it fits a little bit better on the mannequin, but sometimes I do have plus size items and they don't show as well. Um, and I hang stuff up a lot of times. I got these um, command hooks from store um, to hang my hangers. So I just use this little hook with the command strip and it goes back here and I hang a hanger that I, I already had. Um, I do my pants like that. I'm not a fan of the flat lays. I don't think it shows the items as well. Um, you will see in my closet I do have some flat lays. They are older items that I've had for a while and I'm slowly um, re-photographing those things and re deleting them and relisting them. Um, so that's my number one tip. Um, number two tip is your descriptions. The descriptions are very important. Um, I try to put as much as I can into them. Um, I don't always do measurements. I do on pants, we'll do the inseam because that's important, I think. Um, but the descriptions, I try to describe the color, um, maybe the occasion that it would be good for, the material, um, I put the condition, whether it's new, with tags. Um, and so that's my number two tip. Then number three tip is the title of your item is very important. I always list the brand unless it's um, a no-name brand. I put the brand in as much of a description of what the item is as possible because sometimes people will Google an item and your item may come up in a Google search and it's a lot of times from the title. Um, so that is my number three tip. Um, number four um, would be sharing your closet. Um, I share to every party that I can. Um, I share to the first party, the second party, the third party, the fourth party, every party. Um, even if I only have two items to share, I share to that party. Um, some people um, have time to share three to five times a day their entire closet. I do not have that kind of time. I share my whole closet once a day, but broke it up throughout the day. Um, so I will, you know, share a few items in the morning, and then in the evening, in the last party of the day, um, I will share everything I haven't shared that day. I share whatever's applicable to that party, and then the rest just to my followers. Um, and the number five. My fifth tip would be to share other people's stuff. Um, I will go through randomly share people's things. Um, anybody that has shared my stuff, I share back um, to return the favor. But really, it's important. It's really important to share your own things, but it's also important to share others to have them share your stuff to get maximum exposure. Um, so 
Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on what you think is um, a tip that maybe I didn't cover. Um, also subscribe. You can find me over at the Poshmark app at the Brick Wall Shop. You can also find me on Instagram, uh, also the Brick Wall Shop. And thanks for joining.